Ladies and gentlemen of the tribe, welcome back to another Galaxy of Heroes video. We are wrapping up this season of the Queen Armadala Conquest feats with a wonderful video detailing the global feats and how you can best get yours. Make sure you smash that like button and if you haven't already, watch my other videos on sectors 1 through 5 so that you can get that red box. Let's do this. Taking a look at the global feats then, we need to defeat at least 250 enemies on the Golden Challenge path. That one is very simple and straightforward forward ladies and gentlemen as you go through each sector there is a yellow path that leads to additional data disc choices if you are organically following that path which you should be in order to maximize your chance or likelihood of getting good data discs then this feat will complete itself as you progress we need to get the follow my lead feat which is attempt to call allies to assist with the booming voice data disc you need to complete floating death trap which is the 50 kills with stap in order to unlock this and then it's just a case of throwing that data disc on and go kill some no nodes do it on bonus nodes and it'll be done in no time flat we need to defeat 600 b1 battle droids i already have a cheese video on both this and the stat kills we will briefly go over them in this video but if you want to have a proper guide on that check out my video on that already it's been out since the beginning of conquest and it's super easy we need to win 20 battles with a full side of light side mandalorians this is another one that we will be covering today it's not really too much of an issue we need to win 20 battles with keller and beck and ig12 and grogu which can be done with a gear one level one keller and beck and ig12 and grogu so don't stress about that 40 battles with a full squad of galactic republic easy peasy we need to complete the battle with over prepared active which we need to finish the four mandalore or if you've got the conquest pass plus you will get this for free anyway so all of these are super easy and that last one there is 50 kills with steps super super easy ladies and gentlemen so there's not going to be any issues in us getting this done so where are we going to start today's video well i think we'll start with a little keller and beck and ig12 and grogu we can do this a number of ways, but what the way I like to do it is by using Leaders Resolve with Zealous Ambition and Vitality, and then having support leaders that have got AoEs. So in this example, I'm going to be using Dash Rendar, who is a support type with an AoE. I'm throwing Cat for extra damage and Han Solo just to stun at the start. Your AoE, you kill things. Do this on bonus nodes, either the Sector 1 bonus node if you're struggling, that will get you extra data cache and data disks, or go over to Sector 4 bonus node to get the additional data cron materials. If you don't have Dash Rendar, another very, very solid option is going to be using Admiral Radus. He also is a support type that has got AoE attacks. I'm using it here on the Geonosian bonus node in Sector 4, as this is the best one for farming Datacron materials if you're looking for a lot of level 9s. You see, Admiral Radus just clears out most of the board. I just put this on auto. If I manually played this, it would be even stronger. I'm using K2SO as a form of a tank. Uh, he will be able to taunt and then you just you just kind of go to town and, and win pretty easy not too bad we can take the exact same approach with sortie i'm using bb8 and t3 here for the extra speed sortie aoe's basically kills everybody i think actually gba might have dodged there or something like that the good thing about bb8 as well is he is also a support type so he will be able to do boatloads and boatloads of damage it's um it's relatively straightforward, relatively straightforward. Now, the Geo node is harder than, say, the Bad Batch node. Their stats are far more inflated. So if you're struggling with this, just drop it all the way back down and use that bonus node against the Bad Batch. That one will guarantee you victories. You only need to do this 20 times, guys. And you can spread it across those three teams and get it done three times each a day so you get nine battles uh, nine victories a day with Keller and Beck and IG12 and Grogu and it'll be absolutely fine you can also throw this under JML's leadership using Watts and Ball and an additional Jedi if you want that way you will be able to farm it with a GL and you should be able to get over 10 victories a day and knock this feat out in two days flat Next up is the light side Mandalorians so again I'm going to the bonus node in sector one for this if you've got Bo-Katan Mandalore, which I'm sure not many of you have, then just use her, because obviously she is incredibly powerful. But if you don't, I recommend going in with an armorer lead, and I'm throwing in Bam, Bo-Katan, not the new one, Mandalorian, and we're throwing in Sabine. These are like the oldest light side Mandalorians in the game. Again, using that uh, zealous ambition, leader's resolve, vitality data disc setup, all of that good business, throw in a couple of quickenings for additional speed, and then just go ham. So Armourer is a support type, so she is able to do increased damage. You can see there she did a double hit and basically nearly one tap that wrecker. 
Um, so she should be able to get enough damage out the gate to just start trashing on people. I've used the rest as just kind of basically anything, really. I mean, I think she did about 180k damage there on a basic. And then Bam's just going to whistling birds his way through. You should at least be able to get two victories a day using this team on this node with this sort of data disk setup. That means very, very easily over the two week period, you'll be able to clear out 20 victories. It shouldn't be too much of a problem for you guys, okay? Next up, we're looking at the 50 stat kills. You do this in the Sector 1 boss node where we've got Night Sisters. I'm using a gas lead with Echo and with Rex. Um, we're just going to use this to take advantage of Echo's ability to AoE and clear people out. Then you have to kill the rest of the uh, Night Sisters, leaving just Spirit alive. And then you go auto basic onto the zombie. Gas's attacks are going to be reducing zombies max health over time, making it so that even a gear one level one step will be able to one shot. It's just most important that you get rid of all the adds as quickly as possible. I put the tank tech on gas and I put the weapons tech on the step to get him extra turns. And that's kind of it really guys. Once you get to this position, make sure you are targeting hard reticule over on Night Sister Zombie, hit auto basic and go to town. Gas, like I said, when he's attacking Zombie, when she has no protection, she's going to be losing max health, which means anything will eventually kill her in one shot. Now, when I did this in my previous run earlier in the day, I managed to get all 50 kills in one battle. It was super, super easy. I do recommend if you can use some sort of stacking offense with some heal over times to start building up Stap's offense a little bit if your Stap is a very low gear. Otherwise, it takes a little bit of time. And I would recommend at least placing some stats on, on your stat. Put, take him to like gear 7, maybe something like that. It doesn't cost too much gear. There's no Cairo tech at that point. And you'll be able to at least get a little bit more speed on the guy and a little bit of survivability. If you are struggling with the opener, consider using an initial tether tech, which is a consumable that will force the enemy to, have, uh, to start battle with ability blocks. So there'll be absolutely no AoEs coming out for those of you that are concerned about your stack dying before you take a turn. I've already gone over this video in, in my cheese guide. It works very, very well, and you can just time it out for the entire eight minutes. One, two battles, absolute maximum, and you should be done with the 50 stat kills. Good stuff. You can see Zombie over here has basically got no health now. So uh, when we take Stap's next turn, Stap should be just one tap in. Stap for the one tap. Come on, let's take a turn, Stap. Oh, dodge. That is so rude, Stap. I'm trying to prove a point here, Stap. Would you, would you, you put your thinking goggles on, please, buddy? Step. There we go. See, step is one tapping. One tap step, man. Let's do this. So for the global feat of getting 600 B1 kills, you have to use the B1 node, which is the boss node in Sector 3. I've got a video guide out on this. The best unit that I've seen been able to get this done is um, Slacker. Well, technically speaking, the best unit to get this done is Darth Maul, OG Darth Maul leadership. But it does require you to use the Grim Machinations consumable, which will cost you at least 150 crystals. I don't necessarily recommend it because I think for the sake of doing one extra battle, it's it's not worth 150 crystals guys so don't bother um so yeah you go in standard setup here i'm using imperial troopers with support types zealous ambition leaders resolve and a volatile accelerator not volatile accelerator uh, vitality sorry to increase our max health that sort of stuff if you've also got heal over times and stacking offense data discs go ahead and use them you go in this you hit auto hit auto eventually what will happen is all of your allies will die apart from piet and piet will basically solo with imperial troopers you're probably looking at about 120 plus b1 kills now you do have to temper that a little bit because the command battle droid here is not a B b1 battle droid so he does not count so when you look at the 25 figure over here you have to times that by 80 percent because one of the units in each wave or one fifth or 20 percent of the wave is going to be a, not a b1 unit all right and um, so 120 is still going to roughly equate to about 100 using imperial troopers then you're expecting to do about six battles on this boss node now using stuff like supreme leader kylo ren you can see numbers of over 200 uh, if you if you're going quickly enough, I've used um, Supreme Leader Kylo Ren with Watt and Armorer, and you basically just put it on full auto and let him go to town. 
and you'll just keep on ramping and ramping. Obviously, you need to have the ultimate, you need to have the Zetas, and you need to have relatively decent mods, but it certainly does work. Now, I've had this. This is a big pub public service announcement, guys. I've had so many people comment on my B1 uh, destruction guide saying that this slacker is dying. The reason your slacker is losing max health and max protection is because you have some data disk or some tech that is giving you turn meter. If Supreme Leader Kylo Ren gains turn meter, he loses 10% max health and protection. Conversely, if he loses turn meter, he gains 10% max health and max protection. Okay? Do not use turn meter gaining data disks if you are using Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. You will make him lose all of his stats. All right? So stop asking me that question. <laughs> All right, great. So yeah, like I said, Imperial Troopers, you're probably looking at about six battles. Supreme Leader Kylo Ren, you're probably looking at about three battles. You can do it with other teams like Afra. You can do it with Maul. You can do it with uh, teams like uh, Ray teams that can build up a lot of mastery over time. Okay, but it's pretty thoughtless. You just go in, hit auto, have some fun with it. If you want to, I would recommend you apply any consumables that you haven't used because you're not going to be finishing this battle. For those of you that do actually want to get the three stars, once you've hit at least 60 kills of the, the battle droids, you have to use the event special ability to escape. That's literally it. All right. Great business. So the last thing that we'll look at then is we need to win 40 battles with Galactic Republic. The great thing about Galactic Republic is there are loads of really good Galactic Republic teams. Getting 40 wins, I, I managed to red box after two days or three days maybe. Um, you, there are just so many. If you are going through Conquest, try to make sure at every opportunity where you can, use some Galactic Republic teams, okay? So you've got things like full Jedi Master Kenobi. Um, you know, Grandmaster Yoda is a support type, so he'll be able to benefit from things like Zealous Ambition. You've got things like Gas 501st. Rex is a support type. Echo is a support type. They'll be able to basically one-tap enemies, and it's a very, very strong conquest team in general. You've got Qui-Gon Jinn. If you've got Keller and Beck, you can absolutely use him. If you don't, you don't need him. You can just throw in Anakin into this team, and you'll be absolutely fine. It'll do great, great damage. Ayla is a support type, so she's going to be dealing additional damage from Zealous Ambition. Barris Offy is a healer. She's going to be doing additional damage thanks to Zealous Ambition. Galactic Republic, you can use... Um, clone Troopers here, Bad Batch, do not use Omega. Omega is not a Galactic Republic, okay? So I'm using a Shakti lead, gives us additional speed, and guess what? She's a support type. She's going to be dealing the extra damage thanks to Zealous Ambition. You've also got Tech, also a support type, doing boatloads of damage. Echo, support type, damage. It's fantastic. You also have a Padme team. I'm using Padme with the original trio over here, Jedi Anakin and Snips and GK, R2-D2. Support type with AoE damage. Absolutely phenomenal. You can see here we've got Keller and Beck and IG2K using JML and Wat Tambor. All this sort of business. Light side Mandalorians. Yes, I've got Bow Mando, but we've gone over. You can do it with an armor lead as well. Stap kills over here. Ignore that. That was a really old team that I was actually using. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. But there are plenty of Galactic Republic teams. If you are doing this and trying to spread it out, then just do one win of each team in each sector as you go through, okay? You know, if you're using four or five teams, you'll get this done in 10 days or less. I like to try and absolutely blitz through this. So you could see when I was doing Sector 1, which needed Jedi kills and stuff like that, I was getting full Galactic Republic with Jedi kills, full Galactic Republic with Jedi kills, not full Galactic Republic, well, actually full Galactic Republic, but only one Jedi, full Galactic Republic with a Jedi, you know, all this sort of stuff. And then as we were going through the mini boss nodes, I try and get in Keller and Beck and IG-12 and Grogu kills. And you can do this very early on, all right? The quicker you get these feats done, the better off you'll be, but don't worry too much about getting them done immediately. You can do them at the end, just make sure you are farming the bonus node for Datacron so that you can turn that into additional Datacron materials and additional data cache. And that way you will set yourself up for both Territory Wars and GAC and get yourself Queen Armadala. And if that is not worth a like, worth a like and subscribe, I don't know what I need to do for you guys. I, I, I just don't know. Please leave a comment in the comment section down below. How far are you along in your red box for Conquest? I've had many people tell me that they are done and this is one of the easiest Conquests we've had in a while. I hope that is the case for you. 
Big shout out to my wonderful, wonderful patrons. Thank you so much for your continued support. You guys are awesome. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen. I'll see you all in the very next video. May the force be with you.